The Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts is at long last open in downtown Orlando. The new facility will host touring Broadway shows, the ballet, children's shows, a jazz series, concerts, and more. If you haven't had a chance to check it out yet, we took a video tour and let's go see what's inside. Glass and light are key components of what gives the Dr. Phillips Center its distinctive look. Inside, the Alexis and Jim Pugh Theater is the smaller of two theaters open. This community-sized theater seats about 300 people. It has works of art on the ceiling that give off a glow as the patrons are sitting in there. And I trusted several seats, all of which afforded excellent views of the stage. The Walt Disney Theater is the bigger theater. This is designed for touring Broadway productions, and The Phantom of the Opera will be the first show to play there. It has this amazing rich look with its color scheme on the inside. And don't worry if you're sitting on the second tier, I sat up there too. And guess what? You're closer to the stage than you ever would have been in the old Bob Carr Performing Arts Center. Outside in the lobby, there's plenty of places for eating and drinking or just admiring the super wave wall that separates the theaters from the noisier areas. A big staircase is the sort of centerpiece of this area. It goes up five stories, and when you look at it, it looks almost like something from the future. Don't worry if you get dizzy, hang on to the handrails. A distinctive carpet gives some energy to the place, although the officials at the center tell me that they think the people in the center will boost that. Out in the atrium, there's comfortable chairs and seats, the biggest bar I've ever seen in an Orlando Arts Center for sure. Look how far that goes. And if you're drinking out in the lobby, there's handy railings to set your drinks down, just to give you time to take a selfie or two. Donors have an exclusive lounge where they can sit that has beautiful views over the city. But don't worry, if you're not a high-class donor at the moment, you still have plenty of places to find fun relaxation. This patio, for example, is outdoors behind a bar and lets you look over the nightlife as well. And for women, they have perhaps the fanciest bathroom in all of Orlando. Harriet's Ladies Lounge has beautiful custom-designed sinks, a makeup area, and everything you could want to get yourself ready. Up on the roof, everybody can enjoy the view of the skyline day and night. Even if you're not in the center for a show, you might be attending a special event in the DeVos family room. This is that cube-shaped room that extends out over Magnolia Avenue, very visible from the center's front. Keep in mind, this is just the beginning of the Dr. Phillips Center. There's still a third hall to be built, one that will house classical music performances. For the Orlando Sentinel and OrlandoSentinel.com, I'm arts writer Matt Palm.